Here, boy. Come back, Gaston. <laughs> Naughty Gaston. Uh, Holly and Ben, please keep Gaston under control. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> Hello, Strawberry. Hello, Holly. I've come to show you my new pet. <laughs> Ooh, come in. Hello, everyone. This is Fufu, my rainbow beetle. I say. She's very pretty. <laughs> Watch this. Fufu, sit. Ooh. Roll over. Ooh. Shake hands. Wow, that's amazing. I've been taking Fufu to pet school. Well, it's very impressive. Why can't Gaston do tricks like that? Gaston can do tricks. Really? Yes. We've been teaching him to fetch your slippers. Oh, I'd like to see that. Gaston? Fetch Daddy's slippers. Good boy, Gaston. Drop the slippers, Gaston. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> Drop. Drop. <laughs> he ate my slippers. Sorry, Daddy. Bad, Gaston. <laughs> Sit, Gaston. Sit, I say. Ugh. I think it's about time Gaston was trained. He can go to pet school with Fufu. Good idea, Strawberry. Lead the way. Here we are. This is pet school. Look, all our friends are here. Hello, this is my pet, Stanley the insect. Ruff, ruff. Hello, Hello, Stanley. Stanley. Gaston! It's all right, Daddy. They're just saying hello. <laughs> this is my pet, Bobby Bee. <laughs> hello, Bobby, Bobby Bee. This is my pet, Archie the Ant. <laughs> hello, hello, Archie. Hello, doll. Oh, no. It's King and Queen Marigold. Well, hello. How nice to see you. We always bring our pedigree green fly to pet training. We've brought our ladybird. Well, you remember Lucinda, Gucci, and Timmy? Timmy, say hello to the ladybird. <laughs> Timmy! Oh, no. Gaston, spit Timmy out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Look, here comes Miss Jolly. Who's Miss Jolly? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Morning, everybody! I'm Miss Jolly! Morning, Morning Miss Jolly. Jolly! Everyone on time! Good show! Well done, Archie! Nice posture, Stanley! <laughs> She's funny! Chin up, Bobby! That's better! Let's face the future like we mean it! Aha! A new pet! Wonderful! Does he have a name? He's called Gaston, and I'm Holly. I'm Ben. And I'm King Thistle. Hello, Gaston. Well, now, Mr. Thistle, why isn't Gaston wearing a lead? Uh... He never wears a lead. Nonsense! He has to wear a lead to be trained. Uh, he's not really trainable. Poppycock! All pets are trainable by Miss Jolly. Tell him to sit down. Ah, uh, sit, Gaston. Sit down, please. You see, it's impossible. Sit! Well, oh. Just be firm. Let your pet know who's boss. Now, let's all show Gaston how we walk with a lead. Nice and upright. That's it. Do you want to have a go, Gaston? No, don't talk to Gaston like that. Who's the boss here? Well, I've always thought of Gaston as a friend. You're the boss, so show him that. Gaston, heel! Knees up, Gaston. Chin in the air. Don't slouch. Good boy, Gaston. What a good boy. Now you do it, Mr Thistle. Ah, uh, heel? Not bad, but louder. Heel! OK, to the obstacle course, everyone. Don't dilly-dally. 
Now the seesaw. Very good. Through the tunnel. Excellent. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. No flying, please, Bobby. Come on, Gaston, jump over. Remember who's in charge. Gaston, jump! That's it. Now the seesaw. Good work. Straight through, please. Good boy, Gaston. Round the poles. <laughs> and jump over the mud pit. Uh-oh, Gaston's in the mud. He's covered in it. Ha-ha, <laughs> no harm in a bit of mud, is there, Gaston? Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 oh, no, Gaston is going to shake himself dry. <gasps> <gasps> Sorry, Miss Jolly. <laughs> You're a mucky pup, aren't you, Gaston? But next time, you will jump over! Now... Who'd like to show us all a trick? Oh, oh, me first. My green flies can dance. Oh. Archie can lift really heavy things. Wow! wow. Stanley can walk on his front legs. Ooh! Bobby B can do a somersault. <laughs> Whoa! Foo Foo can shake hands. Amazing! And what about Gaston? Uh, he does know how to fetch shoes. Excellent! But maybe it's not a good time to see it. Fiddlesticks! No time like the present. Gaston, fetch my boot! Oh, no! Gaston is going to eat Miss Jolly's boots. Drop! Hey. Hooray! Wow! He didn't eat it. Gaston is now trained. Thank you, Miss Jolly. My pleasure. Just remember Miss Jolly's simple rule. Show them who's boss. Yes, Miss Jolly. Bye! Doodle Pip! Bye, Bye Miss Jolly. Jolly! It seems a bit silly to keep Gaston on the lead. But, Daddy, you're meant to show Gaston who's boss. Oh, I'm sure it wouldn't do any harm. Just this once. There we go. <laughs> um, should we keep Gaston outside? Nanny doesn't like his muddy feet indoors. Oh, yes. Gaston, wait outside. <laughs> oh. Well, I think we can bend the rules just this once. Hello. How was training? It was amazing. Miss Jolly put Gaston on a lead. Yes, Gaston is completely trained. He does everything I say. Really? Yes, he can even fetch shoes properly now. Goodness, are you sure? Oh, yes. Watch this. Gaston, fetch the Queen's slippers, please. Good boy, Gaston. Drop. 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 Please. Ah! He's eaten my slippers. What's gone wrong? He was trained a minute ago. But, Daddy, you did break Miss Jolly's rules. Yes, we were supposed to show Gaston who's boss. What do you mean? You shouldn't have let him off the lead. And you shouldn't have let him come in the castle. You're right. I should be much firmer with him. Gaston, sit. Sit. Oh, well, pet school isn't such a big deal anyway. The important thing is Gaston knows who's boss. <laughs> Come on, Gaston. Off my throne. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I'll just sit down here. <laughs> yes, I think Gaston does know who's the boss. <laughs> Bedtime, Princess Holly. Into your pyjamas. Yes, Nanny Plum. Clothes into pyjamas. 
Let's just magic you into bed and magically brush your hair. Ah, oh, magic is so nice. What would we do without magic? Elves don't have magic. Elves are crazy. They don't even like talking about magic. Magic, magic, magic. Tomorrow is the day. What happens tomorrow, wise old elf? Once in a blue moon, the fairy's magic stops working. Stops working? Yes, for a whole day, from sunrise to sunset. It will be no magic day. Why? Nobody knows why, only that when the moon is blue, the magic does not work. Ooh, fairies without magic! For a whole day. <coughs> Morning time. Pajamas into clothes. Oh, my wand's not working. Daddy! Daddy! My wand isn't working! Neither is mine! Mine isn't either! Wandy, wandy! Oh, the magic stopped! How am I supposed to get dressed without magic? We'll just have to dress the old-fashioned way, using our hands. Our hands? Do calm down, dear. Let's just have some breakfast while we think about what to do. You're right. Nanny Plum, magic up some breakfast. Certainly, Your Majesty. Zibbity zabbity zob. Oh, I forgot. My wand doesn't work. What's going on? Why isn't there any magic? Happy No Magic Day. Eh? What? Don't you know? Every blue moon, it's No Magic Day. Oh, of course. <laughs> yes. And I see you're all still in your pyjamas. Had any breakfast? No. <laughs> you see, children, when fairies don't have magic, they can't do anything. Have you just come to laugh at us, wise old elf? Yes. <laughs> I've a good mind to turn you into a frog. Be my guest. Abracadabra. <laughs> As you can see, children, the fairy wands don't work today. Holly, would you like us to help? Oh, thanks, Ben. We, we can, can all help. help. <laughs> Happy No Magic Day. Bye. Normally, I wave my wand and warm water appears in the bath with lots of lovely bubbles. Have you tried the taps? Taps? Oh, so that's what those things are for. Put your feet in your shoes and you're dressed without magic. And this is how you brush your hair. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> How can I do the washing up without magic? We'll help you, Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you. Elves are good at washing up. And we're elves. <laughs> this is how you turn the television on. And the weather in the Little Kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Oh, very good. And this works like this. How clever! Happy No Magic Day, Mr Elf. Um, wise old elf, we're having a bit of a problem at the toy factory. Oh, then I'd better take a look. That's strange. The escalator isn't working. Yes, wise old elf. Nothing is working. The whole factory has stopped. But the elf factory never stops. Oh, it stopped. We cannot make any toys. But I don't understand. Why has everything stopped? I think you should take a look at this. The elf engine has broken down. Ah, the elf engine. Of course. What can we do? Um, well, let's not worry about it. Not worry? But there are toys to be made. Oh, never mind. We'll just have a day off. A day off? Yes, in honour of No Magic Day. We can all have a holiday. There's no time for holidays. We have a big order of toys for an important customer. Well, the customer can wait. Uh, you better tell him yourself. Hello? Ho, ho, ho. It's Father Christmas here. 
Oh, Mr. Christmas. Ah, wise old elf. How are the toys coming along? I need them today. Uh, yes, your Christmasness. No problem. How on earth are we going to get the toys made? We'll just fix the elf engine. I'm afraid we can't. Why can't we? Elves can't fix anything. And, and we're elves! There is no way that engine is going to work today. Maybe it's just run out of fuel. Yes, it has. So we'll just get some more fuel. What does it run on? Steam? Or gas? No, the engine is powered by a very dangerous fuel. Nanny Plum! Magic us up some lunch! But I can't, Your Majesty. It's no magic day, remember? Hmm. Then what are we going to eat? Um, would you like to come to the Great Elf Tree for lunch? That's very kind of you, Ben. We've got lots of food. Really? Then we shall take you up on your kind offer. It's very quiet. Hello? Anybody home? Ben, why isn't the escalator working? Uh, I don't know. Wise old elf, what on earth is happening? Well, nothing. But aren't there toys to be made? Yes, Ben. We've a big order for Father Christmas. But we can't make them. Why not? The elf engine isn't working. We can fix it. Elves are good at... No, no, no. It can't be fixed. The engine has run out of fuel. Oh, and what kind of fuel does it use? I can't say. I demand to know. It's a secret. Wise old elf, what fuel does the elf engine use? Oh, it's... Mud. Mud? Ma no, it's... Ma ma Mustard? Ma Marshmallows? Ma ma Melted cheese? Ma 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 magic! <gasps> magic? Are you saying the Great Elf Engine is run on magic? Yes. But you hate magic! Yes. But it has a small carbon footprint, and it never stops. Except today. Yes. Because today is no magic day. There must be another way to run the factory. Yes, the emergency power. Of course, the emergency power. But that's just a hamster wheel. It is the emergency power unit. All elves on the hamster wheel will power the factory by foot. Can we help? Good idea, Holly. But, Your Majesty, this is elf work, not fairy work. We're all in it together. You helped us this morning. Now we can help you. All for one and one for all. Yeah, I suppose. Thank you. Everyone. The Elf Factory is working again! Hooray! Let's hope we get these toys done in time. Yes! The day is nearly over. Ah! The magic is back and the Elf Engine is working again. Everyone off the hamster wheel! Ah! I'm glad the elf engine is working again. Don't you mean the secret magic engine? Ha! Ah. So now we know. Elves do do magic sometimes. Well, at least we don't need magic to get dressed. <laughs> Let's hear you laugh when I turn you into a frog. Not today, Nanny Plum. It is no magic day, remember? Uh, wise old elf, no magic day is over. Eh? Oh, Abracadabra! Ah, oh, good. The magic is back. And the factory is working again. And the wise old elf is a frog. Everything is back to normal. Hooray! Go on, Gaston. Fetch! <laughs> Good boy, Gaston! <laughs> <laughs> Gaston loves his tummy being tickled. 
<laughs> Gaston is the best pet in the world ever. <laughs> OK, girls, playtime is over. Time for your magic lesson. Aww. Do we have to? Yes, Strawberry. Now, who can show me some magic? Um, I can make an egg appear. Eggs can be quite tricky, but have a go. <laughs> Ugh, stinky! Ugh. <laughs> hmm, it looks like you've magicked up a dragon's egg. Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my crown. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my wand? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. The dragon's egg is hatching. My dad says dragons are dangerous wild animals. And they breathe fire. Oh, I'm scared. Let's run away. <coughs> Aww. Isn't it cute? Hello. <coughs> Aww, it's so sweet. <coughs> Gaston, be nice to the baby dragon. <coughs> Bad ladybird. <coughs> What shall we call it? How about Cuddles? No, he should be called Fang. Yeah, Fang. I like Snuggle Bunny. Fire Claw! What about Dave? Dave the Dragon! Yay! <laughs> Dave, that's your new name. <laughs> Dave has got really big paws. That shows he'll grow much bigger. What do you want, Gaston? <laughs> oh, all right. Fetch the stick. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Aren't you clever, Dave? <laughs> he wants his tummy tickled. Oh, How cute! <laughs> Dave's the best pet in the world ever. Oh. Gaston gone? Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We've got Dave. Princess Holly! Home time! Oh, I've got to go now. Bye! <laughs> Holly, the dragon's following you. No, Dave. You have to go home now. But where is his home? You magicked him up. I guess he hasn't got one. <laughs> Never mind, he can come home with me. <laughs> dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Dee dee da dum. Nanny! Nanny! Hello, you two. <laughs> ah! A baby dragon. <laughs> His name's Dave. He's going to live here. I'm sorry, Holly. There's no way the king's going to let you keep a dragon. Oh, look! A baby dragon. Ha <laughs> ha! Isn't he cute? <laughs> Can we keep him? Of course. Why ever not? On second thoughts, get that dragon out of here! Aww. Dave can live in my house. I'm sure my parents won't mind. Good. That's sorted. Come on, Dave. Ben, are you sure your parents won't mind? They'll be fine. But maybe Dave should stay out of sight at first. All right. Dave? Stay. Good boy. Dad, remember you said I could have a pet in my room one day? Yes. Maybe it is time you had a pet of your own. Something small to start with. What about an ant? Or a goldfish? Yes. Or what about a... Dragon! Dragon alarm! Fire-breathing dragon! Dragon alarm! Sorry, Ben. We must all help. The elf tree is in danger. Dragons breathe fire. Phew. Looks like everything is under control. Anyway, back to your pet, Ben. What was it you wanted? Uh, it was the dragon. <gasps> you can't have a dragon in your room. He could burn the house down. It's the most dangerous pet you could have in a tree. Apart from woodworm. It's OK, everyone. My son is taking the dragon away. Oh. Where 
Jack and Dave live. How about Gaston's house? Yes, it'll be nice for Gaston to have a friend to stay. <laughs> Hi, Gaston. <laughs> We've got a visitor for you. <laughs> Look, he's drinking Gaston's water. <laughs> he's sleeping in Gaston's bed. He's making himself at home. <laughs> ben, you don't think Gaston minds sharing his home, do you? No, I think he's pleased to have a new friend. <laughs> Look, Dave got bigger. Oh. We'd better get him out of here while we still can. Hush! <sighs> I see the baby dragon is getting bigger. Yes, Nanny. And it's impossible to find anywhere for him to live. Hmm, he needs to go home. But where is his home? Dragonland, of course. Mind you. It's a long, long way away. My dad can fly us there in the elf plane. He'll be happy to take us. What? Take a fire-breathing dragon on an aeroplane? Never! The dragon's back! Sound the alarm! Get that dragon out of here! <sighs> All right, then. Load the dragon. Ready for takeoff. Who's the dragon? Not breathing any fire, is it? Dave's not silly, Mr Elf. He knows not to do it in a plane. Everything OK back there? Ah, uh, yes, Dad. Don't do it again, Dave. <laughs> Nanny Plum, where is Dragonland? Dragonland isn't marked on any maps. It's the only place the dragons can get some peace and quiet nowadays. Here we are. Dragonland. I'll open the back of the plane. Get ready to chuck him out. Chuck him out? Dad? He can fly, can't he? Oh, all right. I'll land. But we mustn't stay long. It's so hot here. And everything's burnt. Yes. Dave feels right at home. Marvellous. Ah. Uh... Let's get going, then, shall we? Nanny, how big is a grown-up dragon? Think of the biggest thing that you can think of. And it's bigger than that. Bigger than a horse? Much bigger. Bigger than an elephant? Yeah, you're getting there. Wow! A grown-up dragon is ginormous! Right, then. Home time. But we haven't said goodbye to Dave. OK, quickly. Goodbye, Dave. This is where you belong. This is your home. <coughs> Don't worry, Gaston. Maybe Dave can come and visit you. <coughs> wow! More dragons! Lovely. Well, maybe we should be thinking about leaving. Can't we stay a bit longer? No. Run! Bye-bye, Dave. <coughs> Fast seatbelts and off we go! Whoa, looks like we got away with that one. <gasps> nice dragon. Don't breathe fire now. Don't breathe fire. Nice dragon. Oh! It's a bit warm in here. Let's open the door and get some fresh air. Gaston wants to play. Here, boy, fetch the stick. Oh, the back door is open. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Gaston's the best pet in the world ever. 